good afternoon for me. Oh, just grey, windy, awful, August, cold. Come on, Peterborough. Right, what have we got today? Cat's off today, but Cat had a bad day yesterday. Awful shift at the hospital, so she's chilling out. Say hello, Cat. Hello, Cat. So she's got orders to stay where she is and just relax. This is what I'm up to at the moment. So, as you can see, the waste pipe has been taken off the upflow filter. Remember this clip? And then I've drilled four holes. Three and four. Still waiting for the non-return valve. Still trying to evade me. Right, garage. Come on, come on. Right, so I said to you that I had to make a carbon copy of the waste pipe. So this is the waste pipe that I've just taken off with the valve collar on and the elbow. This is a carbon copy, albeit a bit Heath Robinson, with the um, 240 volt solenoid on an inch pipe with a connector and then an old Flymo piece of um, cable and then the elbow cut to the same distance. I'll just give that a bit of a trim. That's a bit uh, sharp. The clip that I've just showed in the greenhouse is what you clip the cable connector to. And then this plug will go in here. So this will be valve supply, your solenoid valve supply. This will be air pump supply. I to put shut the lid, it's not as dark. And this will be water pump supply. This is the initiate clean button. And then taking me back to my panel wiring years. This is what we've got. So the inside of the sockets. All the wiring done. I've just programmed the timer. So now I'm just going to fit the waste. Fit the box. So it's either going to work. Or it's going to be a disaster. Let's see where we get to. Right. How far have we got? We've got some wins. We've got some losses. Uh, first off, the power cable to the pump only gets this far. So I'm either going to have to extend this to reach this top socket currently just lashed the uh, extension lead in or I am going to have to move that and perhaps put it under there somewhere in the darkness I don't think it'll make a difference but that's where I might be going to next when people say to you read the instructions being a man you don't read the instructions, you just put them to one side. When I first tried this out, the water was disappearing very quickly. So I cranked back the manual waste valve, which is this one. And this is the solenoid valve. And while we're down here, that's the clip it goes on, out of the way. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, well, it's disappearing pretty quickly. Read the instructions. Where is the one-way valve, Steve? Where is the one-way valve that's supposed to be in here? All oh, right, yeah. That, however, is an old valve and I cannot use that. So I'm gonna have to order a one and a half one-way valve. So a little bit more of the experimentation 
went wrong, but it's a one way valve. I copied the timer parameters from Wright's video and they don't match mine at the moment. Wright has got a 72 second delay time for all his water to disappear down his waste valve. I've got mine set at 72 seconds and mine disappeared down my waste valve and back flushed into my into the bottom drain actually, yeah, into the dirty side. So mine's not going to work successfully until I get the one-way valve ordered and fitted. So up to now, it's not going too bad. I've got all pretty much the hard work done. So we'll go from there. One moment. Right, a little bit further. Controller for the experiment, experiment pump has gone. That is now down here, tucked out of the way. The extension lead is all gone. I've just basically lashed all the cables around the power cable for that pump controller. Now goes in the top. That's absolutely tickety boo. So I'm going to test this out. I'm going to operate this valve as, as if there's a non-return valve here while I keep an eye on the countdown timer there. See what happens. Here goes nothing, so initiating. Turn the pump off. No, I have to leave the pump running. I think there's another now not working at all. Right, let's see what happens. So the timer is now counting down. What I'm going to do is turn the inlet valve off to make believe it's got a non-return valve. But I've got to remember to turn it back on otherwise I'll damage the pump. So I've now turned the dirty valve off and you can see the water level is now dropping very slowly but I have set the timer from 72 seconds to 34 seconds so there's a good chance that's not going to fully empty before the pump kicks back in and blows it all back out again. So I'm going to have to change that. I've only got about seven seconds left. It's only halfway down. So two, one. Now the pump is demanding water again. And as we can see, the water level is rising. So learning points. Read the instructions. I need to buy a one-way valve. And then I need to alter the timer back to write his settings because um, mine is an identical filter. So what I will do is alter it back now off camera and then just dump it again but dump it out fully so you'll not see that bit and it takes ages excuse me I'm drinking my tea too fast out of my Koi Diaries cup. So alter the timer back to the original setting, uh, dump it again and like I said because of the slow fill rate this is probably only going to be um, one rinse per week. But to now very pleased but my, work, my advice read the instructions. So that's counting down as I can see from the garbage inside there, the pump is still drawing water. See that? Two, 
one. The pump has stopped. The air has gone on. Taking the place of the non-return valve until it gets that fitted. This is now boiling and emptying and we're back up to 72 seconds. It's just counting down. Let's see how long that takes. So I'm, I'm sorry to bore you with this bit, but we'll just see if it works, then I've got it on camera. This is either going to be spot on or really close. So now I've opened the manual waste valve fully open and this is all dependent now on the one inch valve. So we're down at this point, still 11 seconds to go. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now the pump's kicked back in, so 72 seconds is just not enough it needs to be about 76 78 seconds so now i've turned this back on so we come away from the one-way valve scenario and now it's filling back up so i reckon if i change the 72 seconds to 78 even 80 seconds won't be too far off but I'll try 78 seconds first and that works an absolute treat that's uh, now automated so I like to keep harping on about one way return valve uh, one way non return valve in there and the one way valve uh, in here and I think that experimental side will be uh, done Whew. quite happy with that not perfect but we're getting there anyway thanks for watching it's only a little short one this time lucy keep digging him in the ribs get him to video stuff we need to see that channel can run in and you know who you are stay safe two jabs look after your family bye